Paul Hagan. He's joining us now, at least for us right now, we're talking about heat and warm temperatures and maybe even a little mugginess. Yeah, still a muggy feel to the atmosphere today, but that is heading in the right direction. Take a look at the current dew point map. And again, this is the number we use to evaluate the humidity when it comes to what it feels like. We use relative humidity to evaluate the fire threat, but anything above 60 for a dew point temperature indicates that it's humid by a Bay Area standards, and we still have some numbers that are into the 60s. Now, at SFO, the dew point's at 59. That number was at 68 earlier today, which is an almost unheard of level of moisture in the atmosphere at ground level for the Bay Area. So it still felt somewhat sultry, but you see a lot of those numbers now dropping into the 50s, and I think that trend is going to continue for the next couple of days. Let's take a look at the weather headlines as we head through the next couple of days. What you need to know as we approach the weekend, patchy fog tonight, but it's going to be patchy. I don't think there's going to be much of it to burn off tomorrow morning. An earlier sea breeze kicking in on Thursday, so it's not going to be as hot inland, but still about three to six degrees above normal. Back to average temperatures for one day on Friday, and then a slow warming trend starts to kick in over the weekend, but it still looks like a nice weekend overall for the last weekend in August. Let's take a look at the heat risk map, and you can see the return to normal over the next couple of days. The moderate heat risk areas are going to shrink compared to where they were today, and they disappear almost entirely on Friday, but then they are going to expand again as we head through Saturday and Sunday. No high heat risk in the forecast through the weekend, so no worries about that. In terms of the air quality, still had the haze on the horizon, and there's going to be some smoke in the atmosphere for the the next several days, but it's largely going to be elevated in the atmosphere where we don't have to breathe it. And the winds at the mid levels, which kind of allow some of that smoke to drift in and then settle down to ground level, they're going to be blowing the smoke back up to the north. So a lot of smoke being produced by the fires in Northern California, all those lightning complex fires, that's going to be largely staying away from us. We can track this all the way through the weekend and you see no dense concentrations of that wildfire smoke making their way into the Bay Area. So at worst, I think we're going to see moderate air quality levels right along the coast and for the North Bay on Thursday with other air quality ratings returning to the good category. Looking outside right now towards downtown Oakland, things are looking pretty good. Temperatures topped out on the warm end of the spectrum, to say the least, up to the mid-90s in Santa Rosa and Livermore. Santa Rosa, excuse me, um, San Francisco made it up into the mid-80s this afternoon. It's not record setting, but it's definitely above average. One of the warmest days so far this year, even Pacifica managed to climb up to above 70 degrees, and that qualifies as heat along the coast. Temperatures tonight dropping down to mostly the low to mid-60s. It's a reflection of today's hot temperatures. There's only so much time for those readings to back off at night and also still the noticeable level of mugginess. The atmosphere just does not cool off efficiently when there's moisture in it and there's still some of it out there. Temperatures tomorrow still running three to six degrees above normal, but that puts us closer to average for late August temperatures in the 70s around the bay, 60s along the coast, 80s down the peninsula into the Santa Clara Valley, also 80s for the North Bay Valleys and still 90s in the Tri-Valley and the Delta, but at least staying below 100 degrees. Temperatures bottom out on Friday at near average levels, and then that slow warm up kicks in as we head through the weekend and into next week. No extreme heat in sight around the Bay, obviously, with temperatures staying in the 70s for San Francisco and Oakland, while temperatures in the North Bay will return to the low 90s next week. San Jose will be a little bit cooler than that in the mid to upper 80s and the hot spots, as usual, in the Tri-Valley and the Delta back up to the mid to upper 90s. But again, by late August standards, just think back a year ago to Labor Day weekend, we had 115 degree high temperatures. We are staying well short of that, even though it will be a bit on the toasty side. All right. Thanks, Paul. Time for